Have you any special wishes? Je cherche l'oubli. Forgetfulness. That's what most of them ask for. Granted. Next, please. Your name? Wang Tu Hua. I am from Hong Kong. I am a Hongyan Chinese. What do you want? Sky Sky Wang Ping, Yin Yin Chang Oi. Love and peace. Granted. Next, please. And who may you be? Assistant Secretary to the Lower Admission Office. Oh. Your name? Uh, Maxwell Bath, sir. I'm British, do you mind? But I've lived for years in California. Your wish? Well, I'd like to watch some films for the next 24 hours. What? Look at Earth again? But why? Uh, well, may I answer that in private? There are no secrets here. It's all rather embarrassing. May I whisper, sir? If it makes you feel better. Well, my close... How long do you think you'll be? I wouldn't know. How long does it take to read a will? <laughs> I think it's funny I wasn't asked to come along. I wonder why. It's obvious he didn't leave you any money. It's just as good a friend of his as... Oh, it isn't the money. You know I never think of that. Why should you? Haven't you a good husband? Don't I always give you everything your heart desires? <laughs> Where are you going now? Well, I thought I'd try to turn in my seat to the symphony concert. Poor girl, you do miss Max, don't you? Hmm. See if you can swap your matinee seat for a pair for the evening. I'll go with you. Arthur Evans, you haven't been to a symphony concert in years. Yeah, what kind of husband are you? Oh, hello, Ken. Hi. <laughs> you also expecting to inherit a fortune? Why shouldn't he, next of Ken? Her mother thinks we will. Me, I never expect anything. It takes a lot of disappointment. You're a smart boy. You coming? Better go ahead. I'll see you upstairs. So long, Jake. Bye. Wait just a second. Uh, bye. Bye. Please. You? Here. Here you are. Well, you know, sometimes you're awfully sweet. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Evans. Good afternoon, Miss Reynolds. Could you please wait in the library? I'll tell Mr. Worderman you're here. Thank you. Oh, hello, Dan. Hi, Art. Well, I didn't know I was going to see you here. And neither did I. I'd rather be over the track. Hey, what's all this about, anyway? The will, I imagine. It's my guess. Then what's it going to do with me? It ain't like I'm a relation or a business associate. Hey, maybe it's not the will. Now, what could it be? Mr. Werdeman, we'll see you first, Mr. Evans. Hello, Edwin. Come in, Arthur. Sit down. Thank you. Sorry the kids are waiting so long. Not at all. You know, it's been one of those days. You funerals always upset my schedule. All those things in the evening. Excuse me, Lord. Yes, Mary. Well, I can't talk to Mrs. Werdeman now. Hello, Edmund. Hello, dear. Up the subject of God. I shouldn't. Yes, dear, I'm listening. You have to be careful, you know. Makes you stop and think, doesn't it? A man like Max in the prime of life passing on so sudden. Oh, there's nothing sudden about it. Max knew he was going to die. And it was his heart. Yes, yeah, his heart. I mean, yes, sweetheart. Never have thought it from the way he lived. Why, the last time I saw Max... Yes, dear, I promise. I'll stop at the supermarket on the way home. Here you are. What's this? Max left that for you. But I thought the will was to be read. Isn't that why he... Well, tomorrow. I'll let you know the time.
Yes, dear, I hear you. I, I remember. But you know what's in this letter? No, as executor, I was simply instructed to hand it to you. Not bad news, I hope. Oh, no, no, nothing like that. Just about the business. Well, I'd better be getting on. Working, man, you know? I'll phone you about the will. Yes, the will. Oh, yes, certainly. Well, bye. Bye, Art. So long, fellas. So long, Art. So long. Must be good news. Kenneth? Won't be too long, Dan. Good afternoon, Miss Reynolds. Good afternoon, Mr. Evans. like this even on the day of his funeral. Gag? Sure. I got a nose for it. I can smell a gag ten miles away, and that's what this is. And I'll tell you something else. That would have told me everything else. Okay, so I'm wasting your time. Bill me. I can afford even your fees. <laughs> you don't think it's funny, eh? Well... Nah, you didn't know Max the way I, I did. admire your sporting spirit. No, you're talking, Edward. A natural-born sport, that's me, and a great sense of humor. That'll pull you through anything. Okay, I won't waste any more of your valuable time. I gotta see a man about a horse. A bookie. You forgot something. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta show this to somebody. Who? My wife. She got a great kick out of this. My little seal's got an even better sense of humor than me. <laughs> What's the matter, Kenny? Bad news? Okay. None of my business. Wait a minute, Joe. Read that. Dear Kenneth, I should be calling you right this way. Your wife and I. What'd you do? Somebody said that about your wife. My wife? Impossible. Why? She ain't got the time. You know what I'd do if I was you? I'd beat the living bejeebers out of a guy like that. I wish I could. Well, why can't you? A big guy like you? Not that. Well, suppose he's smaller. Suppose he's weaker. He deserves it, don't he? I can't. Well, now, why can't you? Just answer me that. Why not? He's dead. Well, but look what he done to you. Dead. Well, in that case, there's only one thing you can do now. What? There was another party involved, wasn't there? Oh, I don't beat women. Oh, neither do I. Only when it's necessary. <laughs> Isn't Mrs. Evans here? No, sir. Didn't you give her my message? She didn't call. You're sure you don't know where she is? She usually tells you, doesn't she? She didn't today. Why not? Suppose one of the children got sick. What would you do? I'd phone the doctor. Haven't you any idea where she might be? Well, usually Fridays. Go on. She went to the symphony concert with poor Mr. Mack. Why do you talk about him all the time? Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Evans. I know how badly you must feel about poor Mr. Mack. Don't mention that name again! No, no, it's not possible. 
you have a very attractive wife. It can't be. Are you afraid to remember? Think about it. Think back. Arthur, I have a feeling I've caught you bluffing. What makes you think so? You know, you ought never to try to conceal your feelings. You haven't got a poker face. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to raise you again. <laughs> you might give us a look for our investment. Not on your life. Two things one must be reckless about. Poker and women. You want to know, you're lucky with both. Well, <laughs> deal me out of this, will you? Yeah. Well, Oh, hello, my dear. Hey, yeah. Max, is she pretty? Of course she's pretty. What do you think? <laughs> well, well, it's true, isn't it? <laughs> you had a nice day? Mm -hmm. Well, tell me about it. Married? Well, I'm uh -huh. warning you. No man can give himself an awful Oh, no. Come on, hey, Max, see she's got a friend. Oh, I'm skinny with good legs. <laughs> yes. Yes. Is she married? Well, she's a good woman. She's got a father? Cleveland. I'll tell you. Don't risk your money. He's bragging. Oh, Sorry, Max. Hey, <laughs> what? <laughs> Disturbing me? No, on the contrary, you're rescuing me from a bunch of second-hand Romeos. Oh, listen to him. You're going to drive me mad. I've learned. The facts are lying. Now, don't you be so smug, boys. There's plenty I could teach you cut-rate Casanova. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> hmm? Yes, yes, of course, Helen. Right. right, thank you for calling, Doc. All right, goodbye. Why do you suppose he's never gotten married? Exactly, he don't like things. You're absolutely right, old boy. I like women far too much ever to make wives of them. What's wrong with wives? Husbands. Oh. Another oh. drink? Not for no. me. I gotta go home. Let's break it up. Oh, it's early yet. It's after two. He's got a bunch of time clock when he goes home. I wish I did. Sorry, he's on night duty. Why didn't I marry a trained nurse? You ever try going home to an empty apartment? Well, at least you don't have to lie when you get in late. Gentlemen, I beg of you, marriage is a sacred institution. I agree with you. Jane and I have never found it necessary to lie to each other. <laughs> there you are. What do you do for fun?